Category 1. Dialogue. There's nothing better than a beautiful day at the beach. Thank you very much. I appreciate you mentioning that. If I may suggest, why don't you consult with a professional or someone you trust? I wasn't listening, but I strongly agree with Anne. You either run from things or you face them. I'm fast. To give you a reference point, I'm somewhere between a snake and a mongoose. And a panther. I don't think you could tie your shoes without me. Nobody bats 500. We all make mistakes. You know what's just occurred to me? We really haven't had a completely successful test of this equipment. Only in their dreams can man be truly free. T'was always thus, and always thus will be. Category 2. Paragraph. Rock and roll has been a huge cultural force since it burst upon the musical scene in the 1950s. Not only has it dramatically altered the evolution of popular music, it has influenced fashion, human behavior, and cultural norms in general. Traditionally, rock music has been especially popular among younger adults and teenagers. The music was associated with rebellion and youth. In 2017, for the first time, R&B and hip-hop became the most dominant genre in the U.S., according to Nielsen Music, surpassing rock music. Yet while many have turned their backs on the genre, rock and roll is still alive and well. Category 3, Cold Read. The Salinas Valley is in Northern California. It is a long, narrow swale between two ranges of mountains, and the Salinas River winds and twists up the center until it falls at last into Monterey Bay. I remember my childhood names for grasses and secret flowers. I remember where a toad may live and what time the birds awaken in the summer. And what the trees and seasons smelled like. How people looked and walked and smelled even. The memory of odors is very rich. Category 4. Ad lib options. I'm going to select number 2. I grew up in the village of Porchester, New York, located in Westchester County, just north of Manhattan. What makes Porchester unique is it is home to Ed Sullivan, it is home to the Capitol Theater where Janis Joplin gave her last concert, and in my youth it was home to Lifesavers, the candy we all grew up with. That's where it was made, and what stays with me to this day is the aroma that used to come from that factory when you walked by. As I mentioned earlier, the memory of odors is very rich.